Hey guys, so I'm sure you've seen it by now, but earlier today the UCS8080 was officially revealed by LEGO. Now I haven't covered it yet because, well, I haven't really felt the rush to as all the LAN members have already got it and most people have already seen it. I'm just gonna uh, leave it for a bit to grow my thoughts and I guess see if any more news or like reviews or anything comes up. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be getting into that today. Uh, even if you've already seen it, I just want to give you my take. Uh, on the set and hopefully you enjoy it anyways and it's just going to be nice to show off this incredible set. Some quick info on the set if you don't know, this is set 75313 the UCS 8080 with 6785 pieces and it will be retailing for 800 USD. Nine minifigures are included in the set including General Veers with dual molded legs, a pilot Luke Skywalker which can obviously go up and shoot the thing which we'll get into soon, two 8080 pilots as well as four regular snowtroopers and one snowtrooper commander. Two new face prints also appear in the set which is great to see and it's a common trend which has now taken place uh, since the Imperial Armor Marauder which included two new ones and it's just nice to get some diversity within the helmets uh, not just to be getting that angry clone face every time you pull off a helmet. We're gonna move on now to the actual set and boy does it just look gorgeous in one word. This is like the best lego star wars set ever in my opinion and that's a hard thing to say but i honestly do think this is the case uh there's just nothing wrong with it i think it's perfect in every single way uh which is just a hard thing to come by nowadays and it is great uh i i honestly see no flaws and there are just details uh, where details did not need to be included which i love uh there are some cool functions which we'll get into too uh, very soon, but you know, it, it just looks great. Uh, all the detail, all the plating, uh, has a great balance between uh, plates and tiles, and yeah, there's just uh, epic detail. Uh, very, very epic detail, and it is massive. Uh, you can see here in this shot, there is a, a massive sense of scale. Uh, it just looks incredible, and yeah, I'll show you now another sense of scale which just makes it look incredibly huge. First image is one from the lifestyle photos on lego.com and it does look great there. Uh, but there's another one which is great which is the 8080 next to a dog and it's like basically the same size which I love. Uh, that's just massive and it looks really cool. Uh, with the 8080s uh, often called a dog, I just find it really funny and it's a great photo. Uh, and if you are wondering, it is 62 centimeters tall and I believe 69 wide, uh, but that is massive. Uh, that is incredibly huge. I'm not too sure uh, if that's the tallest LEGO Star Wars set ever. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure about that. Uh, but it is massive, honestly. It, it is great. And it's, I think uh, even if the piece count is kind of low, it's definitely... Uh, value for your money, especially before the large pieces and obviously its large size. Moving on now to the all of the interior, there is just so much and it really surprised me when I saw the leak. Uh, it was just it's some incredible, it, it was great. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna move in now and look into some of this. So obviously there's a massive area there uh, and you can see lots of seats which are obviously made to be filled out by the upcoming Hot Imperial Battle Pack. You can see two speeder bikes, one E-Web, uh, that kind of engine which I, I do think is just there to fill space but it does look really cool and then more seats uh, it, it just looks really great uh, there's so much stuff there's so much playability and it's really cool you can recreate lots of scenes uh, there's also at the front there and there's also like a image of a door uh, well it's just made out of bricks but obviously you can't actually go through the neck uh, just for stability reasons which is fine uh, but it would be kind of cool if that was the case but you know it's fine definitely understandable I'm just happy that we are getting this in the first place. There's also an exterior flap which opens up so you can have the e whip there and I presume that's the same build uh, as the one coming in the battle pack however that one should have come with a different shooter so we're not sure. Uh, but yeah, there's all the features obviously shown off on the box, and it looks incredible. Uh, there is one, though, that I haven't showed you yet, and this is actually a screwdriver thing that's hidden behind the stand, and basically you can put it in there in, like, the leg joints and twist it, uh, and that makes the legs move, so you can't, like, move it so that it will fall, uh, and I guess this is how they did it uh, stability-wise, and it's really an engineering marvel, uh, but it, it's just really cool uh, how they can do this, and it, it is a bit slow, uh, but again, the fact that they can do this is great, and it is a really cool feature. Uh, they even went the extra effort of putting an Imperial logo print on it, uh, which I just think is really cool, and they made something really cool out of what is essentially a screwdriver. 
So yeah, that's been my take on the UCS 8080. By the way, this week in LEGO Star Wars will be coming out tomorrow, uh, just so that I can give a bit of space between this reveal and uh, covering all the other news, uh, just so, you know, you can have a break. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot, uh, obviously, this week, so I'll be covering that tomorrow. Uh, but this set, it's just beautiful, and there's nothing I would change about it. Uh, I think this is the perfect representation, and... Uh, no offense to the mock builders, but I do think this is better than all the mocks out there. And the mocks were incredible, some of the best mocks out there. So that is saying something about how epic this set is. I just love it so much. Uh, definitely top 10 LEGO style sets ever, you know. Uh, let me know where this ranks uh, on your list of LEGO style sets. By the way, I'm doing a LEGO top 10 LEGO style sets of 2021 video now, uh, which will be coming out soon. Uh, so yeah, that'll be all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.